Hey guys, welcome back. This lesson is titled, It Is Done. In other words, place your desired reality in your past. This is a bit of a unique exercise that at some point um, came to me as, as I was imagining and it felt like one of the most powerful things to do because a lot of the times what we're working with when we're when we're attempting to create our reality, when we're attempting to become more fully the version of ourselves that feels the most expansive, the most true, the most deliberate, the most beautiful, the most blissful, is that we have this addiction, this trained addiction to be placing our attention and emphasis on what's happening in our circumstances. And I've addressed this many times, I've addressed this in depth in the previous lesson and in another previous lesson in one of the previous courses. Um, so not to go into that too deeply at this point, but what happens if we take an imagination, if we take a desired result, and we actually start imagining that it is in our past? Now, again, understand, and you know this because of the previous courses, that really, literally, everything is a parallel reality. Every moment where something has changed, and something is always changing, it means that we have literally shifted our perspective to another parallel reality a parallel point of view of the same one existence. And so since everything structurally speaking is a parallel reality compared to the previous moment, each parallel reality has a different timeline that comes with it. Every time that we shift as a person, as a vibratory being, as who we assume ourselves to be, every time that assumption, that core assumption of our nature, of our identity, of our personality, whatever it might be, shifts, especially when it shifts significantly enough, then actually the person that we have embodied is a parallel reality version of ourselves. It's an alternate version of ourselves that exists parallel to the one that we call the past self, which still is existent because it's a timeless universe. Okay, without getting too technical, what I'm trying to say here is that when we shift into an alternate version of ourselves, that comes with a different past and with a different future. And so when we're seeing it, feeling it, being it, meaning that when we're visualizing our desired outcome or our desired state of being or our desired state of circumstance, and then we're start, we start to feel what that would feel like, what that version of ourselves must feel like. How m must they respond? How must I respond to life? How would I respond to life if this that I desire was already the case? So to amplify further the result or the effectiveness of this practice, of practicing applied will or deliberate choosing of your chosen creation, since you are the creator, one way to amplify this, I figured, is to actually place the desired result, not into the present or future, but into the past. Because even when we're imagining it, as if it's already the case, there can still be this subtle assumption that it's not here yet, which sometimes can really postpone that creation or our understanding of that creation. And so instead, it's like, it's like the traditional example of, uh, of a karate kid trying to hit through a board. Like when the board is held up to him, if he aim, aims exactly at the board, if this is his focal point, then he's just gonna hurt his hand. If his focal point is actually beyond his desired result and he, he focuses his energy past the board, then the board will have to bend to the will of the karate kid. So in this case, in your case, the universe, space, time, parallel realities, higher mind even to an extent, will need to in a sense accommodate your vibration because this is all mirror based, parallel reality based, reflective based, creation. And so when you choose to, in a sense, shoot past your desired result, then at the very least, creation will have to bring you your desired result, if not much more, or something even more profound, or something even purer, something even truer or closer to who you are. So take the image that you have of a reality, of a situation, of an experience you desire, and now as you close your eyes perhaps and start an imagineering session, as you could call these sessions of creating your reality without actually physically doing anything yet. You're just imagineering, you're just being in the joy of that etheric plane of consciousness where you can create and shape and, and choose what you desire and you start to feel it and you start to become it here physically while you're still imagining it non-physically. So visualize that. 
play with a chosen imagination. But now imagine that you had that experience or that you had that thing that you desire or that expression of yourself you desire or that activity you desire, say 10 days ago or 10 weeks ago or even 10 years ago. Whatever feels the most sort of relevant and empowering and exciting to you, place it that far back in the past until you reach sort of a threshold like, oh, this is the most exciting. Yes, yes, I remember what it's like to say, to use the previous lessons example, to drive that Lamborghini or to, to actually buy or purchase that Lamborghini. Again, just purely a physical example because it's easier to use. But again, this applies to non-physical states of being. This applies to vibrational states of being, non-dual states of being, uh, qualities of love and light that you wish to share with the world. But those are all very intangible. But you definitely use them on these desires. But again, to use a physical, simple example, let's say you want that Lamborghini. So visualize purchasing that Lamborghini, but not like, don't just visualize what it would feel like to buy the Lamborghini. That's a good start. But now visualize what it would be like if you bought that Lamborghini half a year ago and you've been enjoying it for six months and you've enjoyed everyone like being impressed with this beautiful car that you've manifested and you having that driver's experience that you seek and that you desire with the leather and all the details and perhaps the convertible aspect to it or the color of it or the, the speed of it and the road trips that you took with it. So now start to fill in your past where what you actually from a physical linear point of view desire from your future has already happened. You see, so this is a very powerful way to actually sort of trick yourself, trick your mind, trick your belief systems and allow your imagination and therefore your whole being to shift into parallel reality where that which you desire has to be here because you've already experienced it, you see. So play with the story of creation, of your creation, of your life. Play with the imagination of your life in such a way that it becomes really playful, fun, enjoyable, um, satisfying without needing any physical proof for it. It's just the act of imagineering is the satisfying act. And so live into that, embody that, and then place your desired results in the past. Imagine having already been the version of yourself and everything that that includes for the past year or so. You've already been that person you wanted to become. You've already become that expression long time ago or even a little while ago. And you've already had built up a lot of experiences after that threshold point that you desire from your future. Place it in your past and say and know that it is done. It is already done. That which you desire is already done. It has already happened. It is done. Now you can also, without imagining it to, into the past, you can also use this mantra or statement mentally. If, you're, if you train yourself in this, it can become more powerful and more immediate. Train yourself in the vibration of it is done. Whenever a desire comes to you, and whenever you feel the flutter of excitement, then you know if it truly genuinely excites me, then the majority, at least the majority of this vision must be true for me. And so at least something about that vision, the core, the essence of what that visualization represents to me must be true. Otherwise, I wouldn't feel this pure childlike, joyful excitement and adventure and expansion. So as soon as you have a desire that comes up, that excites you, instantly learn to trust it as a genuine response from higher self. Receive it in that way, allow it to inundate your vibration in that way, and then vibrationally state to the mind so that it cannot come in and place all these circumstantial doubts and reasons and realism onto it and destroy the vision and the dream and the creation of it. So before that happens, first you get excited because you have this moment, you're caught off guard by the universe. You have this moment of not being too skeptical as you normally might be. You're not being too reasonable about things. You're not thinking about it. You're coming from a place of almost visceral physicality of joy, being in a receptive state of a desire, of an exciting vision. And so the instant it hits you with excitement, it sort of bypasses those filters for a moment of reasoning and those assumptions and beliefs that things are not possible or that they are not possible quickly or that they are not possible for you. These things are bypassed when you feel a moment of excitement. Use that moment of excitement by by instantly, as soon as it wants to go into details and into thinking, how am I going to do this? When is this going to come? How could this ever be true? Before all that happens, or as soon as it happens, place yourself in a vibratory conviction or mantra, it is done. If it excites me, it is for me. 
If it excites me, it is for me. If it excites me, it is for me. It must be true, or at least the essence of it. I'm open to a changing shape and form. Maybe the way I'm visualizing my dream might not be truly accurate. It might be filtered through some lack beliefs. It might be filtered through past experiences, but that's okay. I know that that which I'm visualizing or imagining or thinking about truly does excite me at some level. So at least the core that these visualizations represent, the core of it, the essence, the essential message I'm getting is true. If it excites me, it is for me and it is true. Therefore, it is already done because higher self does not feed you. Higher mind does not feed you or give you access to any desire that you do not have the capacity, worthiness, deservability, or otherwise to perform, become, and manifest in your own unique way. Okay, so as soon as something excites you, allow that to become defined, defined instantly and recognized instantly as a beautiful gift from God, as a beautiful gift from source, as a beautiful gift from your higher self, that this is true for you, that you deserve this, that this is for you. If it excites me, it is for me and it is true for me. Therefore, it is done because higher self is not cruel and it will not give me something I cannot achieve. It will not give me something that I cannot enjoy. It will not tease me. It will allow me to glimpse a reality in a parallel version of myself where that's already the case. Since it excites me now and I know I want to become that, achieve that shift into that reality, therefore it is done. And then you can even like place it or you can add to that and imagine what it would be like for it to have already been done for the past six months or for the past year or two years or two weeks or yesterday maybe. Oh, what was it like? This happened yesterday and I'm still high off of that victory. So. Again, overwhelm your experience with your chosen preference by doing these kinds of flexible, malleable imagination exercises where you come from a state of receptivity and worthiness and empowerment. Try it out. Visualize whatever you desire. Know that if it excites you, the moment it excites you, the core of what you're visualizing must be for you and it must be true and it must already be the case in the parallel reality version of your higher self, which you can shift into. Therefore, it is done. It's already done. It has already happened. Now you can even add more embellishment to that and more conviction to that by visualizing the details and feeling what it was like for it to have already happened in your past. Enjoy.